Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. We are here once again. Previously, we fought the new boss, the mother it's called. Used to be the witness in Antibeth with Azazel. We went in with a ton of HP. We got really lucky, but my god, that boss was hard. And yeah, I did hold an Algis rune, the invincibility rune, and didn't actually use it. Could have had a win there. But we're going to go in, and we're going to try Lazarus uh, once more to try and get the, um, the unlock on Bethany. We've got to try and win a run without dying dying as Lazarus, which sounds kind of okay. So I think what I'm going to try and do is maybe take the normal path. Uh, mainly because, honestly, there's a lot of new stuff on the normal path as well. Like, there's obviously the alt path is amazing and it's got incredible amounts of new stuff, but there's lots of new stuff and re-sprites for all the existing floors as well. So we should try our hardest to have a little look-see at them too, I really think. It would be a good idea for us. Oop, I got stuck. <laughs> so one thing I've like sort of been noticing so far, obviously last run was kind of an exception to the rule, but money... Not money, sorry. Hearts are definitely harder to come by, especially soul hearts. One part of that definitely comes down to... um comes down to less tinted rocks but also they just yeah they just don't seem to be dropping anywhere near as often i don't know what happened last run we got just a ton of them but in general yeah they're harder uh, to find and also yeah enemies are much harder like guys like these are way more difficult honestly star credit is so good Ooh, lacrophy as well an interesting tier modifier for us here never really been the best sort of item but i can definitely get behind it sadly Everything here kind of sucks for us. I guess we just take the wooden nickel because why not? I suppose we could wait for another shot, but honestly, taking an active now, especially one that's, yeah, got the chance to pay itself forward, uh, seems like a good idea. Wooden nickel, the earlier you can get it, especially when you're not the keeper and don't need the money for health. Seems like a good idea. Seems like a good idea. We've got a key. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to go to the alt path when we can and then dip in and out sort of thing, going between both floors. I think that's probably the best idea. So we'll start off going to the downpour, then we'll switch over. Random reroll machine, kind of strange. Um, <clears throat> rooms like that are always odd. Like, is it? Is it? Is the intention to have the butter trinket and drop your active item when you're in rooms like that? But yeah, we should get a decent amount of extra money here from this. Ooh, we got the turdlings. Um, I wonder if these guys have been touched at all. Uh, ooh, they're um, they're a bit tough. They're a little, they're a little bit tough. I don't think the stuff they leave on the ground actually hurts us though, which is the saving grace compared to normal gagglings. But this is a lot of enemies, and also we definitely need shot speed up. Um, as as you might be able to tell, we currently we we can deal out a lot of damage if we're getting the big hits, but it's kind of hard to get them because we've got to wait for our tears to to join up and then explode. Um, of course we can do regular damage with them, but it's better if we gather them up. Oh, bit of HP there. Nice. Good, good. Fire rate is fantastic. I'll definitely take that. Um, and yeah, let's uh, let's go on to the next floor, shall we? Looking good for money here. Sadly, not so good for bombs. But yes, hard mode. Just the game in general. Definitely noticing the difficulty increase. And I'm actually really, really enjoying it. I don't know how many of you out there are, um, are playing on hard mode. I'd love to know. Let, let me know how many of you are, are trying it out on hard mode from the get-go. But it is significantly more difficult and noticeable. And I'm really glad of the fact, too. This game, for the longest time, especially after Afterbirth Plus, got really, really easy. Especially with the addition of, like, reroll machines in shops. Shops became, like, so unbelievably powerful that you could just re-roll and get basically whatever you wanted. Um, and, yeah, they definitely seem to have turned that back a lot which is great also could we get this look on the keeper please we are spawning a, a penny with every use we're gonna take the the random item because i'm gonna say it could be something new we've got mysterious liquid this looks awesome really really cool visual effect on this tier uh the mysterious liquid seems to have some sort of resprite going on which i very much like hmm now this is interesting i reckon we take the soul heart now and pay it forward trying to get a deal with the devil but I was very tempted to take the other stuff there. I, I'm loving this. Mysterious Liquid looks so good now. Also, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but in the previous episode, we've noticed that Creep is a lot more potent than it used to be, which means Mysterious Liquid is probably going to be a lot better than it used to be too, unless the damage is completely separate. But honestly, looking at it right now, it seems to be pretty darn good. I love these little jumpy dudes. They're really cool. Uh, go straight to our boss. Let's do it. Another nickel. Wow. Okay, so now we can grab the item as well. And we probably do want to do that. I, I reckon it'd be a good idea for us to um to grab this. Holding two trinkets, it's not going to make the biggest difference in the world, but it will be notice noticeable later on. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this run. Rainmaker, nice one. I love Rainmaker. Really interesting boss. Cool to see. Um, let's see what we can do. But yeah, we're not going to be gathering up the tiers too much on this guy. Uh, but we'll see what we can get going. Good damage nonetheless. And yeah, I love it when they add like new visual effects to uh, to items. Even if it's nothing functionality-wise, it just adds to the flair. And makes items you use feel a lot more unique. And this definitely is one of those cases. This feels a lot better to be using. It's kind of nice to just do what I'm doing here with uh, with Lacrophy and just kind of leave tears all around the room to explode and do damage. But do not hit me, dude. Do not hit me. Okay, good. We got to deal with the devil. We also got HP too. Very, very nice. Good, good. What have we got in here then? Empty Vessel or the Razor. Both of these are pretty bad, unfortunately. We don't really want either of them. I think we're going to leave that for now. Also, I did read that um, the sort of use case for getting... Um, what are they called? Angel deals has, has been changed. Now angel deals can be guaranteed if you do not enter your deal with the devil. If you receive a deal with the devil, but you don't even enter the room, you have a guaranteed angel uh, angel chance. You know how normally it used to be that you had like a 50% chance of angel or devil? Now it's just 100% if you don't enter the room, which I think is way better. It means going for angel deals is way more viable. Which is always nice, because uh, Antibirth, if you didn't know, actually has a lot of very, very good uh, Angel Deal items. Uh, there's, there's a lot. There's like the the old Jacob's Ladder, which I don't know if it's going to do the same thing before. That used to literally just give you a free Angel Deal item at the start of every floor. And you could still get a Deal of the Devil as well. It was very, very strong. So I doubt it'll be that strong, but it's probably going to have made a return in some, in some capacity. I don't actually know what items have returned and what items haven't. There's a lot of these dudes. I'm guessing these guys just stop summoning. Yeah, they stop summoning the moment we kill everything else in the room. So this this floor, obviously, a lot less likely to get a deal with the devil here. Oh, stop throwing your pots at me. But if you're going to throw your pots at me, give me some money. It's a pretty good way to make it okay. Oh, throwing a bomb rock at me. No, thank you, sir. No, thank you. <laughs> that is a bit spicy. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm loving the fact that we're getting cool tier modifiers at the minute. Uh, we're, we're, we're really seeing some unique stuff. We got Hemolacria, that other run. Now we're getting Lacrophy. Um, and it's just, it's really nice to see how some of these synergies, even visually, have changed from uh, Afterbirth Plus. I think it's a massive improvement. Uh, we got our item room here. Oh, there's one enemy left. Um, both, unfortunately, can't see them. Euthanasia, that... We, we've had, have we had that before? I think we did. Oh, false PhD. Worse pills plus evil up. What? False PhD. What? What does evil up mean? Does that is that just like more black hearts or just gives us a black heart? That's all it did for now. But evil up worse pills. Now that's very interesting. I wonder what happens if we get this with PhD. I'm imagining they create some sort of interesting combo. We got Min Min here. Wow, we are getting a lot of nickels, by the way. Uh, so yeah, I'm wondering how euthanasia is going to work with this. Because of course, euthanasia, when you hit an enemy and kill it with the euthanasia shot, it explodes into a Tammy's head type shot, which is kind of what Lacrophy already does. So I'm wondering how that's going to combine, if at all. I haven't seen a euthanasia shot yet. But then again, we do have minus one luck, which means we're less likely to see them. So that makes sense, to be honest. Ow. We are taking a lot of damage from this guy. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Yeah, I gotta say, bombing him is a good idea. Oh, careful for this attack. This attack is pretty difficult. There you go. There's a euthanasia shot. Oh, damn. Hello. This guy's got like one HP. There you go. He tried it on. Magic 8 ball was shot speed. That's good. We needed shot speed. I was saying that just earlier. Ugh. This is something that I probably shouldn't take. I would love to. Deal the devil items. Really good. And we could get something new. But the, the problem with that is, what if we get an item that isn't very good? Or what if we don't get any extra HP here? We, we need to be staying alive. So I'm going to unfortunately duck out on that. I will take our moon card though. Go into our secret room, see what we get. And we should probably go and find our shop and looking at the amount of HP we've got actually. I didn't really notice we had it as much as we did. Um, so I'd love, to, I'd love to go and take a little look-see. We will be taking damage in this room most likely. These guys are very tough. We've got a white fire there. I mean, we could go and get a knife piece, I suppose. Why why, why the hell not? Oh, for God's sake. These enemies are so hard to fight. Woo. Let's find our shop first. There's our mirror room. Pretty close. 
Oh, we got the uh, the upside down guys. Whoa, that looks so cool. Hey, refilling that heart's beautiful. And we'll take an item. Why not? Score bag, double active item slots, and another nickel. This is great. Yeah, I'll go get the knife piece. I don't really see why you wouldn't grab it. Like, it seems like a really obvious thing to do. Unfortunately, we can't do anything in the shop. Oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot this room existed. Okay, good. Oh, my God. That was kind of spicy. That was kind of spicy. Oh, no. Holy mantle's gone. I don't know what happens if you die in this area. I do not want to find out. I'm guessing it just kicks you out. I'm, I'm very, I very highly doubt you actually die. But I do not want to find out. This is not the time. Oh my god, our tears look so cool. This is this is the best. I'm really enjoying this. I really hope we get some luck ups so the euthanasia kind of procs a little more often. I think we're just going to grab the, the knife piece and then run. Yes, yeah, so having school bag as well. So now we've got two trinket slots and two active item slots. I think they go hand in hand pretty nicely. Great stuff. Back into the normal realm. That, that has to be one of the coolest additions of Repentance so far. That is such an interesting idea. They've really knocked it out of the park with adding some really unique and interesting stuff to this. Wasn't expecting it to be quite so unique. And it's, yeah, it's it's crazy how well that's that's come together. Uh, so we can go through here. Why not, I guess? Might as well try and get the next knife piece. Good, good. Had a floor, but we're going to get better items. So I think it's kind of worthwhile. We can start skipping some of these now. We've seen most of them. I'm not going to uh, dwell on those for too long. But yeah, even if we don't end up using the knife, we can always uh, we can always have it as like a... Um, have the knife as just something to do extra damage, I suppose. Right. There's a tinted rock there. Would love to get a bomb for that. Hopefully we can build up enough money to get yet another shop going. That'd be great. Shops have been pretty useful for us thus far. Oh, careful. Oh my goodness, they boxed me in quite hard then. Um, I'm going to go for the second item. Kidney Stone? Now, I've heard Kidney Stone got a rework, so very interested. Oh, very interested to find out how that works. Um, Wow, that, that lasts, for one, that lasted a lot longer than normal. For two, it doesn't seem to be a speed down anymore. That was kind of my biggest problem with it. It was kind of an annoying speed down. Honestly, Mysterious Liquid is killing it for us right now. It's doing so well for us. There we go. Just got to remember when we've got Kidney Stone active. But yeah, it lasts It lasts a really long time. I like it a lot. Really good with Lacrophy as well. Because the more tiers we're firing, the more chance we have of creating those bigger ones. Make sure we're using our uh, item every time. Just got to keep an eye on our character for whenever we, uh, whenever we stop firing. Good, good. Like now. Go into the next room. Oh, there's a lot of them behind me. I didn't realize they stacked up behind me then. Cheeky bastards. Oh, soul heart. I'll definitely take that. And a penny. Oh, my God. Woo. Calm down, sir. Calm down. We got them. Another... They've definitely made wooden nickel better. Because we are literally getting like 50% nickels. That's great. Extra bomb. Quite nice. Okay, we need to charge it up again. Look at that. Look at the damage that's coming out of that. That's so good. And then even more euthanasia shots as well. My god. Ooh, this is a shop. Yeah, we probably do want to go into the shop, actually. Ooh, jumper cables could be nice. I think we'll probably grab that. Um, That's going to make it so that when we kill things, we get recharged. I think it's every 15 kills, we get a recharge pip. Honestly, on a one pip charge item, that seems like a pretty good deal to me. I'm definitely going to go for that. Um, I can't remember what this does. Brown cap. It's, it's like when we shoot poop, something happens. I can't remember what though. Something that I haven't used in a while. Let's jump in here. And get some lacrophy going on. Oh, I wonder if we build up a big euthanasia shot. Does it fire all euthanasia shots? That's an interesting concept to think about. Oh, this guy's getting close. Yep. <laughs> Could see that coming. One, one thing I just got in my head right now. Some, some of you will probably already know about this, but there's a there's a like a meme online where someone like they had to do um, they had to do a class project on euthanasia, uh, like what is it and the ethical implications, and they did a project about the youth in Asia, not euthanasia, the youth in Asia, 
I always find that fucking hilarious. <laughs> and it always makes me think of it whenever I use the item in this game. I'm always like, oh my god, it's that again. Grab that. Uh, but yeah, we're doing we're doing really well on the money front. I'm actually just gonna fire a little bit here and get my uh, kidney stone ready. I don't know if it can actually work. You can get it ready outside of rooms. Yes, you can. Good. Oh, dude, that guy did not do what I expected him to do at all. Then. That's a lot of bombs. That's a lot of bombs. This guy's such a cool boss as well. Can't hurt himself with his own bombs, so he's not like a little Loki. He does look a bit like uh, Loki, but he's not. I'm just trying to predict where he's coming from at this point. I don't actually know. I'm just shooting at random doors and see if he comes out of them. Oh, no, it's this attack. Careful, careful. There's a fire. Oh, my God. This is a hard boss. Hard boss. Love him, though. Very difficult, though. Oh, what's that going to do? Oh, it fires tears. That's what it does. As you can see, it's taken us quite a while to, to get this guy down. But again, it's it's all part of uh, repentance making the game more difficult. I like it. It's good to see that the uh, enemies aren't quite as easy as they were before. So he actually drops an item if you um, if you manage to kill him. And we got uh, Mr. Boom there. Uh, that's not Mr. Boom, sorry. That's just uh, plus 10 bombs. Another dime. My God, uh, dime, sorry, nickel. Very, very good for us. And let's make our way down. Let's see if we can get a win here. So knife pieces on this floor. Great to see that straight off the bat. Honestly, this might be terrible. I might have screwed myself so much here. Nope, it's great. It's great. I thought, what if we have this and it makes Lacrophy so much easier to build up? Like, um, yeah, it makes Lacrophy just like bounce into itself that's a really i mean it, it gives us really short range but that's kind of interesting i like this idea a lot might not be super super good for us in the long run but it seems pretty good honestly it feels pretty good i'm not going to complain about it i'll tell you that for nothing and it essentially means we've got like something that floats around us and just deals extra damage okay Come on, dude. Pop yourself up. Not quite what I wanted. Oh, shit. Definitely not what I wanted. There we go. That was beautiful. Got two more of these guys over here. We'll let them create some space for us to kill them. Of course, the one I didn't want to shoot shot. Nice euthanasia on both of those guys. Another nickel. Yeah, wooden penny is way better than before. Wooden nickel, whatever you want to call it. Is it called wooden nickel or is it called wooden penny? I think it's wooden nickel. That's why I remember it being called wooden nickel. Got you. Extra HP there, thank you. Would like some soul hearts, but looks like they're not they're in high demand at the minute. We're not really going to get too many of them. Yeah, try and take out some of these bomb boys. Oh, there's our charge again. One bomb for two bombs or... Nope, don't matter. Just yeeted that bomb somewhere somehow. I don't really know how I managed to do that, but I did. Okay, got them. Duct tape doesn't really matter for us, but I'll take it. <laughs> it holds the knife piece in place. That's something, I guess. Oh, this is kind of a hard room. Ow, this is a hard room. Not kind of a hard room. It is a hard room. Okay, we got the money. The Bible? Yeah, I mean, we'll take it because it means insta-kill on mum. Oh, my God. Rooms are so much harder. Also, it's a four-room charge now. It used to be a six-room charge, so good to know. Grab that penny real quick. I don't think there's anything else on this floor we actually want, is there? I'm guessing it just still gives flight like before. Oh, no, wait. Of course there is. We want to we get the next knife piece. What am I doing? Also, if it gives flight, it's going to make this a bit easier. Right, let you guys do your thing. Gotcha. Um, is there enemies in this room? No, there is not. 
quickly bomb this. Yas. How do you give a soul heart too? I always forget that the little dudes give soul hearts. Okay, take out the soy milk dudes first because they kind of... Okay, okay. Lose a soul heart straight away. Why not? Why don't we? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good for us. Okay, here it is. Last button's in this room. Oh. Good, good. An eternal heart. It's really nice. A pair throw rune's also really good. And yeah, let's uh, pop this real quick and let's change over to that. I'm not sure exactly how this chase sequence is going to work because, oh, it's definitely, the, the, the layout is definitely different. Hmm. Interesting. The layout is a bit different. Okay. We're definitely going to take some hits on this, but we'll see how it goes. Of course, this takes our items away as well, so we've not got kidney stone anymore. I love, I love how dramatic this area is. There's our knife piece, and here he comes. Look at that guy. That's so cool. The sprites in him are amazing. Nope, 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 nope. But, oh, dodged him. That was pretty good dodge. I have to say, that's a pretty good dodge. Okay, good. Yes, another good dodge. We're past him for this room. Let's just go for it. Yep, we've got spiked, but that's okay. So this is different each time. Interesting to note. I really did think it was going to end up being the same cool there's a new puzzle for each time you do it i don't well i don't know how many new puzzles there, there is it might only be one lost our eternal heart unfortunately but we did make it out alive with the knife should have used my my uh, my book i didn't that's okay though i'm still relatively happy with how that went accidentally released my uh barrage of shots there <laughs> whoopsie okay try and stay alive We've got no red hearts about unfortunately was there any in the shop? I can't remember what was in the shop, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. There was. I'll buy that. I'll also use this to gain flight and bomb this. Damn, could have saved a bit of money there, but not a big deal. Not a huge deal at all. Right. Reap creep. It's time. Honestly, this is really good against Reap Creep. And the knife as well. The knife is doing well against him too. It's, it, the problem is, we're gonna have to, if, we, if we go and fight the Witness, we're going to have problems fighting the Witness because we're not, we don't have long range. Oh, he's doing this again. Careful, some of these enemies will fall and will become enemies. Ow. Reap Creep, why? I don't know what you're doing. Oh my god, Reap Creep. Oh, okay. Pageant boy. Sadly, still kind of sucky. We're not going to do Mausoleum, I don't think. Or are we? I don't know. Mausoleum seems kind of risky. Wasn't there a heart in this room? Yes, there is. But I don't have flight anymore. No. Damn it, I don't have flight anymore, so I can't actually get that heart anymore. Heck. That's a pain. Okay, let's go. <sighs> I can't do mausoleum. I can't. I don't have the health. I said we were going to duck in and out anyways. We're on the dank depths, which is a floor that I've seen has gotten a lot of love recently. Um, th this floor with Repentance got some big overhauls to its visuals. So definitely looking forward to seeing more of this floor. Oh my god, this room still exists. Good to know, although we got through it pretty flawlessly there. Nice. Oh, what are you? These things are new and I don't like it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna. 
<laughs> oh, we might have a bed here, which could be pretty good. Let's make make sure we stop firing before we uh, drop down bombs. Double bomb door. Could be a few different things, but it's most likely going to be a bed. It is indeed. I don't think we get anything for sleeping in a bed that's, uh, that's dirty. I don't think you get anything for the dirty beds. So let's not. Yeah, honestly, Kidney Stone is saving us right now. Anzus. We'll just take the Anzus. Why not? And what we got here. Bursting Sack. Definitely going to pair throw that. Honestly, Acid Baby, I could see being pretty good. I could I could envision a world in which Acid Baby is really good. Oh, look at these dudes. They're hard, but look at them. <laughs> Keep losing our deal with the Devil Chance, sadly. There we go. BFF definitely makes that an even better, uh, even better idea for us. I don't know exactly how BFF will be affected by Pill Baby. Is our knife affected by BFF? That's an interesting question. Oh my god. Just look at the amount of tears we're firing. It's crazy. I love the way they've reworked fire rate. The reworked fire rate is really good. It's going to be a little hard to understand for a little while. Uh, but definitely, definitely feels a lot better. Grab all of them and push them through. We've also got what looks to be... is that That's not a library, is it? I can't remember what, what type of room that's called. Um, I used my uh, I used my active item and got hurt then. Or maybe I just got hurt at the same time I used it. Oh. Something's hitting me and I'm not quite sure what. Does, do these guys leave like damaging creep now? Is that what that is? Oh! That's what it was. This guy does a fucking little tentacle under your feet. That's interesting. That's a really cool little attack he's got there. Definitely makes that guy a little, a little bit harder. Oh, my God. I'm very scared. <laughs> I am very scared. Okay, these guys are going to be a pain. It definitely seems like the knife is being affected, by the way, because this thing is dealing a lot of damage when it hits enemies. It's like insta-killing most things that it hits. Oh, that still hit me. Are you kidding me? Of course it did. Of course it did. Please have this room just give us so much HP. It's unbelievable. Not quite. Are you a wizard? Not even a pill I want to take. That did give us some HP, though. I can at least give it props for that. Okay, let's go. Let's carry on. Let's push forward. And it's just crazy to see something like Kidney Stone being a key item in a run. Oh, wait. We've got Acid Baby. We've got, like, we've got that um, fake PhD or whatever it's called. All our pills are bad. So we can't really take pills. God damn it. That doesn't really work too well for us. Whoopsie. Lacrafi keeps knocking my bombs away. Soul Heart. I'll take it. We'd very much like to stay alive, so it's always nice to see him. Gotta make sure this guy doesn't do that little weird thing to me where he stick, sticks up something from the ground. I do not want to see that. Okay. Oh, get out of the way of these guys. These dudes in small rooms is kind of crazy. Um, I'm definitely going to... Take them two. Yeah. And let's get this ready. There we go. If you didn't know, beautiful little thing there. If you if you use the Bible on mum, it insta-kills her. Um, and we've got two items here. So Glyph of Balance. Let's, let's do a little due diligence, shall we? Glyph of Balance is a bad item. How about we see if it's been changed? Glyph. Glyph of balance also modify also modifies room clear rewards. Um yeah, it, it just says it um modifies room clear rewards. It doesn't say anything else about it. Or we could take this, which is the slowdown. I think I'm gonna take the sensor. The sensor's just a little bit better. But it's good to know that that got a buff. It's good to know. So let's hope we can get to Mum this time. Let's see if we can do it. I'm really hope we're gonna lock Bethany here. Would be great to see. Um, we don't really need the money anymore, so wooden nickel isn't super important anymore to us. Yeah, sensor here is going to be fantastic. Slowing it down, enemy in our radius is, is very, very nice. Shot speed down. Sadly, not really what we want. Hello. Pretty, pretty hard little dude here. I'm not going to lie. 
having trouble kind of hitting him. But Sensor, I'm super glad I took it because it's it's saving our bacon right now. And there's some HP. The game's been a bit more kind to me than it has been as of late. A little bit more kind to me. Good, good. Nice, clear. Ooh, this is a hard set of enemies. And we've got um, these turrets in the way. Honestly, Sensor, the best thing ever. I, I it shouldn't have been hit there. That was a dumb hit. These guys teleporting around is, is, is really confusing the hell out of me. I'm watching these triple shot things, trying to watch for them shooting me. This guy just won't die. Dude, you've got such little health. Just die. There we go. My god, that took a while. Ah, I was like, why can't I fire? Then I realized. Oh, yep. One problem there. Sensor was making that very, very difficult to get through. I should have just used flight. Honestly, the Bible would have been a perfect use case there. Oh, this is Sensor. You are fantastic. And this is why I'm glad that Angel deals are better now. Because, like, getting those like the Sensor is amazing. Yeah, don't you shoot me. You're pretty deadly. Oh, look at these leech dudes. They look so much better. They look so much better than before. Also, the BFF knife. I think... I think the reason Sensor's doing so well for us, by the way, is because we have the Sensor with BFF. I didn't even think about it, but thinking about it now, the radius is huge. And I think that's due to having BFF. I think BFF is increasing the radius. Which, I don't know if it did in the base game, but I'm very much enjoying it. Uh, sensor is, is killing it for us right now. Essentially making it much, much harder for us to get hit by tears. Good. Mum's lipstick, honestly, range is kind of good for us right now. I'm very happy with range. Being able to shoot these a little further before they conjoin makes it, makes it a little easier when we don't want that to happen sort of thing. I, I realize we're not using our pennies, by the way. We just don't need money on this floor, so it's not as valuable. It's not as important. Okay, this, this is a tricky little room here. Oh. Oh. Not much tricky anymore. Not much tricky anymore. You, you hear me speaking the English. It's not much tricky anymore. It's not as tricky anymore. Yeah, that knife is absurd with BFF. It just insta-killed a gurgling. Love to see that. Did, also, I didn't even, didn't even really comment on the fact that we're on the scarred womb. And the floor looks so nice. So, so nice. The womb is just looking a lot, lot better. Really looking great. Every floor's looking great, to be honest. They've done a fantastic job of reworking these. Oh, no. I'm just going to quickly get rid of all of this. And then do that, yeah. <laughs> I do not want to fight that guy while he's kidney stoning. That sounds just awful. There we go. A little bit of a harder room there, but we got it. Oh, these guys are still about. I don't think they've changed much by the looks of things. We got a double key room here. We should probably try it, you know. Honestly? Yep, I'll do some donating. I haven't donated in a little while here. Let's see how far we can get it going. Low as you deal with the devil chance now. It, was, um, it used to just increase angel chance. Didn't do anything to deal with the devil, so that's an interesting change there. Good, good though. Nice little bit of donating. I feel like that's doing our due diligence. It's pretty good of us. I'm happy with myself. Got a heart back there, let's remember that. Because we probably will get hit before we go to the boss. If we don't, I'll be very, very impressed with myself. I am very glad here, though, that we're going to get an insta-kill on Mum yet again. That should make things a lot easier for us. There's our hit. Forgot about the creep, not going to lie. But we've got that heart, so don't worry. Don't worry. Unfortunately, we've gone both of the wrong ways, and both of them were extremely long. <laughs> so we've just done a lot of rooms that we didn't need to. Got peep here. This is a bit tough. Okay. Let the knife do most of the work for us. Let sensor keep us safe. There we go. Fantastic. Do we have any, um, do we have many items from the, I don't think we have too many items actually from, uh, from repentance on this run really, but we've got a lot of stuff from repentance working along with it. Like 
re resprites of items and um, rebalancings, things like that. But this is a regular, sort of pretty vanilla run, really. Just with some interesting stuff going on with it. It's, like, it's an interesting synergy that was in the game that's been made a lot better by the cool, mysterious liquid effects. Okay, you just stopped charging for no reason. Thank you. What? This guy keeps charging, then Larry keeps putting a poop in front of him. That's just kind of trolling Larry. <laughs> He's like, go get him, go get him. Nope. <laughs> Psych. You troll, Larry. You troll. Okay, these guys can be a bit, a bit difficult. Oh my god. I can't believe I didn't get hit then. Okay, th these guys being able to be slown is definitely helping out. There we go. Still got this dude here. Actually, there's two of them over here. I did not realize. Oh, right. Keep our Bible ready. Remember, so may maybe they've just made it so rooms like this, these guys can't lay down creep so it doesn't get confusing. I mean, that's a slight nerf to them when you come across them in a room, but it makes them a lot more enjoyable to fight against, I will say for sure. The amount of times I've been hit because their creep is basically invisible on the floor is high. <laughs> Way too high. So now we can go in here. We can go to It Lives and Bible the hell out of it. It's dead. And there you go. That did it. That got Bethany for us. Awesome. We have unlocked Bethany. We are ready to go with Bethany. And did we take... We took the Polaroid. I really do want to go Dark Path because there's some new stuff there. But obviously we took the Polaroid, so there's not much point this time around. But we'll make sure to go there soon. And I'm very, very happy with this run. Definitely seeing that... Uh, Health is a lot harder to come by. We're having to play a lot more flawlessly and get hit a lot less. Ooh, look at these dudes. Ow. <laughs> uh, we're having to play a lot more flawlessly, get hit a lot less to stay alive because health is just not in abundance as much. Red hearts, yes, they're about, but soul hearts, my God. Normally, you'd be getting like two or three soul hearts a flaw just by finding them. Now, no, no, no. Like, I remember sometimes when in the, in the first two basement floors, you could find like five tinted rocks and get like get up to like 10 health pretty much off the bat that seems like that's no longer the case also holy bernie look at him in all of his glory ow we might die but we've already unlocked bethany so even if this run is a loss i do not care this this has gone exactly how i wanted it to and from now on i'm, I'm okay with however this goes i would like not to die but this is a very hard room so please forgive me Yep, there's our death, but don't worry. We come back as uh, Lazarus too. Lucky Penny. Oh, Lucky Penny actually has a pickup sound now and uh, a little icon thing that comes up. A little message. With darkness comes power. Evil ups give us damage. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. And we do have, we do have sin up from the fake PhD, I think, which I probably counts. I don't actually know. There you go, got... Got you there, fella. Want to keep traveling to the next room as quickly as possible when we've got our um, thingy going. Kidney stone, because it keeps firing for quite a long time. Like, basically, the entire, ta entire time you see that fire rate number changing is the entire time that we're firing with kidney stone. So it's, it's quite a long time. Right. One heart, Isaac. I doubt we're going to get far with this, but we'll see. Sensor should definitely help. But yeah, we died already. That's okay though. We are not Bethany. I'm very happy. We're going to try Bethany in the next episode. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.